This might be the best theme park in the whole world. <laughs> Puma's on one side, Jaguar's on the other side, we're on a suspension bridge, all of it. <laughs> Welcome back to beautiful Quintana Roo, Mexico. We're Eric and Sarah, and we're always looking for the next big adventure. <laughs> That's right, so we're here at Escaret, and this place seems like it's right up our alley. <laughs> It's our first time at Eshkret and we want to show you our full experience, so stick around for an honest review at the end of this video. Adelante. Perfecto, gracias. They let you in. We're in, they let me you in. You tricked them. Yeah, tricked them, got them, <laughs> paid them money. So what is Eshkret? This is basically just one big jungly theme park and a lot of people like to compare it to Disneyland, but it's not really like Disneyland at all. There's a lot more emphasis on conservation and preservation of local culture, flora, and fauna, and you kind of have to think of it like a big water park, amusement park, and eco-archaeological park all rolled into one. So it's currently 9 a.m., which means we have 12 hours to see as much of this 200-acre property as we can. So let's get going. <laughs> Beautiful way to start the park. So peaceful when you come in here. So here you can see the map of the whole park and see how huge it is. There's six different colored routes you can take and a lot more you can explore. There's supposed to be over 50 attractions, which is insane. We're definitely not gonna get all of that. But our goal is to start on the white route over here. Then we're gonna ride the river all the way down to the ocean. Then hopefully do a little snorkeling then we're going to see as much of the red, green, and blue as we can. And then we're going to end the night with a big cultural show down here. So let's see what we can all get in today. <laughs> Did we miss it? We've been in here for like 10 minutes and I'm already lost. It's so confusing. We were supposed to go where we started <laughs> yes but we, i swear we're we supposed to go, to go this way yeah i think we have to backtrack oh well One of the best things about the Escaret Park is that there's just a lot of symbols of Mexican culture throughout. Mexico is a huge, huge country and it's not just Cancun, it's not just Baja. There is a lot more that goes into what is the total of Mexico. So here you can see like we're walking through this colorful cemetery. We just walked through an old Mayan ruins. The thing is, is a lot of this, even though it is manufactured, the idea is to just give you kind of a good picture of what Mexican culture as a whole kind of looks like. Now, if you're here to learn, you will want to get a guide because there's not a whole lot of signage, but it is just cool to walk around and see a lot of this stuff. On the topic of tour guides, we found out that you can actually get a tour guide for informational purposes within the park. The tours that operate for Escaret basically sort out your transportation and getting you into the park. So just for your information, if you do plan on coming to Escaret, that is what the tour guides include. Gonna be a little uh, butterfly whisperer. Yeah, they don't like me. That's okay. This is the craziest park we've ever been to. There's pumas on one side, jaguars on the other side. We're on a suspension bridge. I love it. <laughs> see anything, sir? No. Apparently the puma cage is under construction and we can't see any jaguars, so it's kind of a bust. I really want to see one. So another really cool thing about Escaret is they have all these different workshops that you can opt into. Some of them are free, some of them have a cost, but like this one, for example, is a coconut workshop. There's a chocolate one. There's, yeah, just different like 
workshops that you can do, which is really cool. But the one thing I will say is they all have very specific times. So if you want to do some of the workshops, make sure you look up the schedule ahead of time so you can plan to be in the right spots at the right time. Otherwise, you'll just have to really get lucky with the exact time you arrive. <laughs> Eric, I need you to see this next exhibit over here. What is it? Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> this is something we have not ever seen. <laughs> I've never been to a this zoo amazing. that had this before. Wow, the common rankin. <laughs> the common North American trash panda. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we have to wait here until we find one. Yeah. We can't go without it. Probably sleeping. That's so funny. I actually love that so much. Now that's a trash panda. One thing to note is about water, and you can bring a water bottle into the park. There's a lot of refill stations pretty much everywhere in the park, and also about sunscreen. If you plan on going into the water at all, you need to be wearing biodegradable sunscreen. I think you can buy some here. And as far as observations go, we have not seen any bugs or had any bugs bite us at all. So that's something to take note of. Some people have said in the past that there is a lot of bugs and that uh, you should be wearing like repellent or something, but we have not had an issue at all. Okay, so we completed the white route. So now we gotta walk back to the entrance where the rivers start and we're gonna go for a swim, which is perfect because I am melting right now. <laughs> it's so hot. You all ready? It's time for the part I've been waiting for. <laughs> River time. In the water here. Oh, I'm so excited and I'm so sweaty. Let's do it's it. getting a little grumpy. Let's do it. Man, everyone here is so, so friendly. If you ever have an issue with anything, just ask a staff member because they are, have all been extremely helpful. And we've had a lot of issues because yes. it's very confusing yep. somehow. <laughs> <laughs> you think we can fit everything in one bag? I think so, yeah. So we have two options. They have lockers here that you can get that you can leave all of your stuff at the start of the river, but they also have these bags, which is really nice. So you can put all of your stuff or as much as you want, and they actually take it to the end of the river for you and you can pick it up there. So that's what we're gonna do, because then when we get there, we can like work our way back across the park. Smart. Smart. Big brain. Big brain. I forgot my shirt. I don't want my shirt on the river. Like when you checked all your pockets in your shirt? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, nothing's in there. Yeah, nothing's in here, perfect. <laughs> If you lose the key, it yeah. has an extra cost of $20. $20, okay. okay. Yes. Don't lose the key. <laughs> okay, that's great. They just give you a key. They say if you lose this key, it's $20, so let's not lose it. And then they write your number of the bag on your wristband. Do not lose that. Do not lose this. Not to mention we put all of our valuables in there, which they don't recommend, but YOLO! Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it's okay. Hopefully it's okay. <laughs> Hola. 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 Gracias. Gracias. What? Nice wet life jacket. Okay, next up, fins. Six to twelve. That is a big range. Yeah, these look good. Yeah. I heard that the river kind of slows down from time to time, so it's a good idea to have these. We'll let you know if we actually use them. Even this place is a maze, isn't it? <laughs> I, I don't know. You think you can just follow the crowds, but even that, I still end up confused. Ooh, macaws. That's pretty. That's gonna be nice on our little journey. Yeah, you guys see the red? Wow. Okay, look at this water. Ooh. How do we get on that boat? You want to just take that boat? Yeah. Let's go for a little romantic cruise, like we're in Venice. Are we doing it? Yeah, I say we go for it. Let's see it. Nice walk. Careful with your flippers. Oh, it is pretty cold, actually. Is it? I mean, it's great, but it's colder than I thought. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> Sarah's gone already. Oh yeah. Let me get out of the crowds. 
Oh yeah, the flippers were a good choice. Yeah, I know. Two seconds in, it's definitely the right choice. This water isn't moving at all. I, I don't even know how you would... Oh, there's ropes on the side, it looks like. So I guess you can use those. Yeah, you can make your way through. I feel like they would take a long time. Oh, we're literally going underground right now. This is cool! <laughs> 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 I love this. This temperature is actually so yeah, perfect actually after perfect. walking out. Do we look cool in the light? We look so cool. We look so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, the fishy. Sweet. This is so cool. <laughs> wow, I can't believe how beautiful this is. And the water is so blue. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit surprised. I knew it said it was like an underground river, but I didn't realize that it's pretty much all underground. Most of the videos that we've seen in the past have just been like outside, so I just sort of assumed that maybe parts of it were. But obviously now I'm realizing that you can't really film when it's so dark <laughs> in the tunnels. Photo time, sir? Okay, my turn. Uh, oh no. Oh no. You got me. Uh -huh. We have to take a photo here. Look at nice escaret. <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun. Oh no no. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, this is so good. It's a green. It's it green is so green. nice. I love you. I love you. Wow. This is so beautiful. Oh, cool. Now we're in the outside part and it's so green all around. Like we're literally under the ferns and the trees. <laughs> so beautiful. It's amazing. I could do this all day. The only thing that could make this better is if there was like a little monkey or quaddy that runs along the side, you know? <laughs> a little creature. Or like a little piranha that comes up. Uh, a little nibble, nibbles your toes a little bit. Sure, that too. Or a dolphin. <laughs> Imagine a dolphin was just swimming. Or like a shark. Yeah. Shark comes along. Yeah. Or like a snake in the anaconda. There's <laughs> crab in here now. No. Oh, there's a crab right there. That's cool. What? There's a crab in there? There's a crab. Oh. It's a cute little red crab. Okay. I thought nothing was in here, but turns out we were wrong. We're otters. Here we go. An otter no, is my spirit animal. Your way. Oh no, we're stuck. <laughs> no, we're good. Mm. I love being an otter. This is nice. It's so nice. <laughs> this whole park has this really cool thing where you can pay to have your wristband activated with like a for a photo pass and they have all these stations where you can just scan it and then it tells you where to put your feet even and it takes a photo and then at the end of the day you get all of those sent to you which is actually really cool if you come with like a family or a big group of people so you don't have to carry a camera you don't have to like organize who's taking group shots we didn't do it because it's just the two of us and we have camera gear but you know it would be really cool and they're all for like this kind of stuff so you don't even need a waterproof phone or anything really cool system Oh, this is so nice. Yeah, now we're, now, this now is we're perfect. living. Now we're living. I'm sure this is a really flattering angle. Oh yeah, it's so flattering. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, I can stand a little bit. One, two, three. Let's get it! <laughs> Oh, well, had to end sometimes there. I know, I'm kind of sad. But it was a lot longer than I thought, actually. We don't have our phone, so can't, I don't actually know what time it is, but I would assume that was well over an hour. Wouldn't feels you say? like it. Yeah, it feels, feels like it. it. But it was nice, very relaxing. I would do that again right now, but I've got a lot of other things to do, so. Oh, that feels so good. One of the perks we have is a choice of buffet at five different restaurants here within the park. Now we wanted to get some Mexican food because you know, we're in Mexico, but it is on the complete other side of the park and we're hungry now. So we're just gonna go find a buffet here.
Okay, so buffet food. There is a lot to choose from here. We're at like the international restaurant, so there's just like tons of stuff from literally all over the world. Uh, we have some sushi, some salmon, some breaded salmon, and I got some like macaroni and some other meat. I kind of just like rushed through, but man, there was so many different choices. And we also just like have, what is it, like a timba? Like three person timba crew just like playing music. It's kind of nice actually. Good. So, what's the verdict? Honestly, as far as buffet go food goes, that was pretty good. I mean, there was a few things that were kind of meh, but there's some food that was really good. So, I'd say it was totally worth it. Plus, we got a beer, soft drinks, and coffee included. So, I'm a happy camper. All right, I did not realize that we were actually at the restaurant beside the Jaguar pen. Right there. That's so it's cool. On the oh, that's oh, sick. That's so okay, that is so sick. We finally made it to the red route. This is the dolphin route. And I don't know, now that we're here, I kind of have mixed feelings. It's, I love dolphins so much for the longest time. They've always been my favorite animal. But I don't know, seeing them in pens and like people petting them and stuff, I just have very mixed feelings about. I don't, I don't know, I just don't know if I love that. But they're very cute. The majestic sea cow, Sarah. These things are huge. I actually can't believe it. I, I know they're big, but it, they're huge. And there's tons of them here. Do you think they get them to do like tricks or something? <laughs> like the dolphins? Like the dolphins, they get them to jump out of the water. <sighs> I would pay to see that. I'd pay to see you jump in with them. perks of our plus pass is actually doing some snorkeling in this little bay right here but I don't think we're gonna do it a because we're too lazy to change again but also there's just a lot of people and I'm not sure like how much wildlife you'd really see it does look like there's some fish in there sure it'd be a really fun activity if you're with your family but I don't know I don't really need to just be maneuvering around a bunch of people to see a couple fish right now but looks cool Oh baby, this is very, very nice. <laughs> you ever gonna get out of one of these things? No, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We're not done yet. <laughs> I'm done. I'm Sarah's just... done, but we're not done yet. <laughs> uh, I'm so tired. This is really nice. Oh man. The palm it... trees above. Yeah. It is a very long day, I will say that. Yeah. And being here basically from the morning, and we're probably gonna be here until like 9 p.m. So. Taking a breather. We need a break. <laughs> Give yourself lots of breaks. Mine definitely smells like wet dog for sure. Yeah, so does mine, but my so do my sandals, so do so, my swim shorts. I just feel like. That's true. Can't be avoided. I have no cares in the world right now. Not even about me. I still care about you, but... <laughs> you just can't care for me. No. <laughs> well, we are feeling surprisingly revived, actually, after a quick little nappy rest in those hammocks. Oh, yeah. And we have made it to our last route, which is the blue route, which I believe is the aquatic route. So there's already been a bunch of turtles and some fish, and now we're walking to the aquarium. Now, where are the fishies? There's one right here. Ooh, shark. Hushes. Aquarium life. Do you think the fish get excited when they see us? Probably they're like, ooh, look at these look, look this one. again. Whoa. That's cool. Come on! 
what a strong representation of pre-Hispanic culture, just the ferocity and strength of just the music and all the costumes and all the players just really paints a good picture of what pre-Hispanic Mexico really looked like. So we are finally here at our last scenic stop of the day. We are on the rooftop of the first pavilion basically when you enter the park and there's all the most important buildings in Mexico up here. Well, the shows have already started, and before we go into the big finale show of the night, we wanted to give our honest review and thoughts on Escaret. So for me personally, I think it's really amazing here. It is very stimulating. That's yeah. maybe the one thing I didn't <laughs> expect is I'm very exhausted. There's just so much going on. There's so much to figure out where you're going. There's so much happening at all the time, all the time. So yeah, very exhausting. I would say if you have the option to come for two days, that would be really great. Right. You actually get half off for the second day you come. So if you have the opportunity for that, I feel like it would, it would space it out a little bit. And the other thing I would say is I'm really glad that we got these plus passes. I yes. feel like all the perks that came with it were really great. I'm very happy with that. I wouldn't do the level up. There's actually one more you can do, which is the plus plus one activity. Total, total package. Total package, called, yeah. yeah. And I personally now being here, don't think I would recommend that to anyone just no. because I don't know when you'd have time to do another activity. Totally. So again, unless you have multiple days, I don't think <laughs> you should commit to too much. <laughs> That's right. As far as my thoughts on this, I would say it's definitely worth it for the cost that we spent to come here. We paid probably around $200 for everything all in and you really do get to see so much throughout the day. It is a full day of acti activities, as Sarah said. We're about to see another show that like you can just pay to go and see that. Mm -hmm. So even that in itself is a cost there. Uh, but it's just so cool to see how much of Mexican culture they tie in and everything. And I guess that leads me to my next point in that this is a really cool way. If this is your first time in Mexico, this is such a great way to see really some parts of Mexican culture like throughout the country. That being, that being said, I really hope if you do come to this place that it will inspire you to go to other places yeah, in Mexico totally. as well because there's so, so much to see you guys. This is such a great country. Yeah, it's like a little window into what Mexico <laughs> has to offer and we hope it inspires you to visit other places here. That's right. So we are going to go to this next show, the Mexico Espectacular, I think it's called. Yeah. And this is supposed to be the big finale. It's supposed to be a huge <laughs> deal. I'm so excited. Me too. Welcoming us into the finale. Ooh. This place is getting very full. Pro tip, just walk around the entire building because everybody just goes through the very first door. Go to like the last door because there's way less people and we have an unobstructed view now of the whole thing. The last staircase is the best one. has been the culmination between the Spanish and the pre-Hispanic peoples in Mexico. Yeah. There was like a really cool part where the music, it was like the, the Spanish guy was playing like a lute and then the, the Mayan guy was playing like a flute. Yeah. And it was, it was just so Started cool. Combining. They combined it together so nicely. It was so beautiful. Yeah, the first half essentially just kind of recapped the whole history of Mexico yeah. from pre-Hispanic times and then the Spanish conquering it was really cool. My favorite was seeing the two games demonstrated at the beginning yeah. because I feel like we've seen that one with the rings, I don't know what it's called, the basketball-ish one, yeah. in a bunch of 
museums and at ruins, but I've always wondered what it would look like to see it actually played out. So that was really cool. All in all, already loving it. Absolutely. Super excited for the second half. like that whole performance. That was so incredible. That was amazing. That was so, so cool. I think my favorite one was Micho Khan, where there was like all these guys that came out and the actors were acting all old. And then at the, the end chains. of the, and they were like dancing all crazy. And then at the end they pulled off their masks and they were actually old guys. <laughs> it was, a game. it was so cool. I yeah, loved it was that. awesome. Everyone cheered and they were laughing. It was so, so awesome. great. <laughs> Honestly, the whole performance was just incredible. And yeah. it, it actually just made me appreciate Mexico even more yeah. because the second half kind of went through all the different regions and different songs and dances yeah. and costumes from each one. Yeah. And it just, I don't know, it just made me, I don't know. Nostalgic I, for I, Mexico. Yeah, <laughs> and we're already here, but I just love Mexico so much. And it was just such a perfect encapsulation of all that Mexico has yeah, to offer. And I just really loved um, it. Yeah, completely. I would also say that was also worth it just in itself mm -hmm. as well. If you wanted to just come for just the performance, it was stellar. Yeah, it was Absolutely. incredible. So thanks so much for watching. This was a very long day for <laughs> us. Wow, we are so tired. That was how many hours? Like over probably 12 hours? Yeah. About yeah. 12 hours we've Just been here. Um, so thanks so much for sticking around. If you've stuck around this long, <laughs> subscribe if you like this video. And we also have lots of other Mexico videos. Yeah. So go check those out right now. And we'll see you in the next That's one. That's right.